Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this problem right here, and so let's begin. So this problem is saying the limit as x approaches infinity for sine x divided by x. But the issue is sine infinity, I have no clue what it is. So the way we're going to approach this problem is using a strategy called the squeeze theorem. So although I don't know what sine infinity is, I at least know the maximum value of sine of x. So the maximum value of sine of x will be less than or equal to 1. The biggest value sine can be is positive 1. At the same time, the lowest value sine could be is negative 1. Now, our problem isn't sine of x. It's sine of x divided by x. And so what if I go ahead and divide this by x? And I divide this piece by x? And I divide this piece by x? And let's see what happens. So if I do the limit as x approaches infinity, for this piece and this piece, this can kind of narrow down our answer for sine of x divided by x. So negative 1 over x. Now negative 1 divided by x, and when you plug in infinity for x, you get negative 1 divided by a huge number, which is 0. Now let's see what happens when we do the same thing for 1 divided by x. Do we get the same answer or do we get something different? So again, you plug in infinity for x, and you also get 1 divided by a huge answer, which is also going to be 0. Now this is saying that if this piece is 0 and this piece is 0, then that means this piece must also be 0, because this value is saying it's less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to negative 1. And when we did the limit as x approaches infinity for this piece, we got 0. And when we did this piece, we also got 0. So using the squeeze theorem, we can conclude that the limit as x approaches infinity for sine x divided by x will be 0. Now in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist categorizes different problems, and the other has random limit problems. And that's pretty much it for this video.